vastly more exciting and interesting if we're a space-faring civilization and a multi-planet species than if we're not. Uh, it, you want to be inspired by things. You want to wake up in the morning and think the future is going to be great. Um, and that's what, uh, what being a space-faring civilization is all about. It's about believing in, in the future and, and thinking that the future will be better than the past. Have you ever thought about visiting the moon? It may be a yes or a no, but have you ever thought about how you are going to travel to the moon? Hello viewers, welcome to TechWiki, where you get to know the latest updates related to the world of technology and engineering. In today's video, we will compare two powerful space tourism companies, that is, NASA and SpaceX. Watch this video till the end to find out how NASA and SpaceX are doing the same thing, yet different from each other. So, let's get started. Well, I should be able to quote NASA's, NASA's mission statement from memory, but I, but I can't. But it's basically to understand our world, our solar system, our universe, and to use technology to move humans beyond Earth. That, that is really, if you want to sum it up, that's NASA's mission. One, which company is superior in space travel? When it comes to space travel, the two names that hit the news now and then are NASA and SpaceX. And like I said earlier, Elon Musk privately owns the latter. The company started from scratch, and today is one of the few startups that smile all the way to the bank. Now, talking about superiority, it's safe to say that both companies are superior. The large amount of funds that SpaceX receives from the U.S. government for various projects helps position itself as a leader in the space launch business. However, NASA does not only have the resources to back significant projects which involve space travel, the organization also has the technical capabilities to help SpaceX or other space travel companies achieve their space travel mission. But let's not jump to the conclusion that NASA is more superior to SpaceX, because the latter can deliver some surprises too. 2. How do SpaceX and NASA compete? Well, they don't. SpaceX is a for-profit company, whereas NASA is a taxpayer-funded entity, free to pursue scientific discoveries that are not directly linked to financial gain. People usually say that SpaceX and NASA are competing with one another, which generally relates to NASA's Artemis program. In 2004, President George W. Bush announced a plan to retire the space shuttles and return humans to the surface of the moon. This led to the creation of a crew capsule called Orion and a rocket that ultimately evolved into the Space Launch System, or SLS. Orion and SLS are built by aerospace companies Lockheed Martin and Boeing, which in turn use their own private suppliers and subcontractors. The vehicles are assembled at NASA centers under NASA guidance, and NASA owns the final product. The programs generate tens of thousands of well-paying jobs in locations where they are built, and therefore enjoy strong political support for their local congressional representatives. SLS and Orion are both behind schedule and over budget. Meanwhile, SpaceX has grown from a small startup into a legitimate competitor of traditional aerospace companies. Though SpaceX also frequently misses timelines, its supporters argue SLS and Orion are too expensive and based on legacy technologies that are outmatched by vehicles like Starship. Advocates for SLS and Orion point out that the vehicle guarantees the U.S. will be able to launch large payloads and humans into space. An analogy for this is aircraft carriers, which the U.S. still builds and owns even though private companies can build comparably large cruise ships. NASA's official position is that SLS and Orion are currently the best vehicles to get humans back to the moon. Furthermore, the agency cannot change course without the requisite political support. SpaceX, meanwhile, doesn't have to answer to anyone but Elon Musk and can push ahead with Starship development to satisfy Musk's goal of sending humans to Mars. Lift off, go Falcon Heavy. So this was such an important moment for SpaceX with the Falcon 9 and now the Falcon Heavy. We can launch into orbit uh, any payload that has previously been conceived or is conceived right now. We've got a couple of launches of Falcon Heavy later this year. Three, 
What's the new project NASA and SpaceX are working on? It should be clear at this stage that NASA is currently the most significant customer that SpaceX has. And yes, good things have come out of the relationship between the two parties. SpaceX has embarked on several spaceship building projects, and their focus has always been to colonize Mars. The company's Dragon spacecraft was a success, but the good news is that they are working on something more significant. The company is building a human-rated version of the flagship Dragon spacecraft. But this time, this new spaceship will be regarded as Crew Dragon, which is quite a great name. This spaceship is designed to transport astronauts straight to the orbiting complex. The entire operation began somewhere between 2019 and 2020. The first spacecraft, the Dragon spacecraft, was designed for shipping cargo to the ISS. But the Crew Dragon will function differently. The company's founder, Elon Musk, also has a vision of transporting space tourists in the near future, not just astronauts. However, the Crew Dragon, like the Dragon spacecraft, also received financial support from NASA. And it's evident that if successful, this new spacecraft will open up many opportunities. Sure. Um, well, first of all, I should say I'm a big fan of NASA. Um, in fact, at one point, my password was, I love NASA. Uh, <laughs> Literally, that was my password. Um, um, and, um, you know, I think the... Um, NASA, NASA does a lot of good things for which, pe for which it doesn't get enough credit um, and that the public, I guess, doesn't know that much about. Um, I like a lot, you know, most members of the public, they're not really into hard science, you know. It's like not, it's not the, the thing they're tuning in for most of the time. Um, I love hard science, you know, uh, but uh, um, it's not that popular. So, uh, but there's great things in terms of the, the telescopes like the Hubble and the James Webb and the, you know, the rovers on Mars um, and uh, the pro, you know, probes to the outer solar system. Um, those are all like really great things. Um, but to get the public excited, you've got to get people in the picture. Um, it just, it's just a uh, hundred times different if there are people in the picture. Which company is superior according to you? Let us know in the comment section below. If you haven't yet, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like and share this video.